Patricia. What? What's Strange doing? So, there are about 1,500 seats in this theater, and Strange's wallet has ended up in one of the cup holders. How did that happen? I had fun. <laughs> He was only saying to me yesterday that he, he hasn't got enough to do. <laughs> <laughs> Two tickets, champions! Make a fist with both hands. Perfect. Now you said you are right-handed, mm -hmm. so then we won't use your right, we'll use your left. Okay? okay, don't open it, don't let me get near, okay? Okay, I'm gonna close it tight. Watch. Okay? Okay. Move your neck. There we go. Okay. Watch. I'm not gonna get near your hand, just watch that. We're gonna try a little bit of teleportation. My heart is pumping. That's gone. Okay. Open your hand, turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see! <laughs> Whoa! Now, brother, make sure it doesn't just come off. Okay. What oh, the heck? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Can you do that with a bank and money? I know! Wait, 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 a Cristal le dieron la mente Ajá. y a mí, este, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Te le transportaste sí, una me, marca. Me, me dibujé una X porque pues no se puede hacer algo muy grande aquí. Me hice un, una, una tachita, una X en mi mano y se me desapareció y te apareció en la mano sin que te tocara. Sin que, definitivamente, yo ni siquiera lo vi, incluso en el video viene. Ajá. En el video viene donde ni siquiera estaba, eh, es más, hasta como que dije, bueno, no. Hola, muy buenas tardes, Alex. Estamos contigo. Venimos desde México para hablar contigo. Nos dicen que eh, vienes de Inglaterra, ¿es cierto? Sí. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. ¿Y qué, qué, tipo, qué podemos esperar del show Champions of Magic? Sí. Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Cuántos años tienes haciendo esto? Sí. Ah, bárbaro, <risa> increíble. Muchísimas gracias. Nos vamos directo al estudio otra vez. called Casa de Palma in uh, wherever we are, McAllen, which is in the very south of Texas, so far south that it's very nearly Mexico. Apparently this place, I 
just found out, is haunted. And it was, this place has been here since 19... And it was 1918. This place has been here since 1918. Let's see. Odd sounds can be heard. The telephones in the hotel ring unexpectedly with no one on the other end. That's just a wrong number. The most spine-tingling strangeness is the appearance of ghostly figures in different areas of the hotel. At least one of the poltergeists is known to the staff. The spirit of Miss Roxy, a former employee of the hotel who committed suicide years ago. She can be seen from time to time on the third floor. I'm on the third floor. The hotel manager returned to Cassandale Palmer a few years ago. Late one night to finish up some paperwork, he had left it pending as he exited his car. He chanced upon to look <laughs> this is he chanced to look up at the moon, which floated majestically just above the North Tower. There's two little towers either side of the beginning, at the entrance of this hotel. An unexpected figure was silhouetted in one of the archways. A woman with flowing hair, dressed in a white gown. Went up there, doors went shut. Called the police. Jones and Gomez were the police. Someone's messing with us. Lights came up, the room was definitely empty. Listen up, whoever's on the other side of this, you're about to be arrested. In the space of a few seconds, there was no response and the lights began to flicker and the temperature dropped. That morning, Gomez was lifted boldly into the air and flung against the wall between two arched windows. It was as if an invisible hand were thrusting against his chest, holding him in place. Trying to stay calm, for his benefit, Jones walked over to the window and peered out, looking for her weapon. Read a lot. Horror novels. <laughs> that sort of thing. Something caught her eye just below the sill. Strands of fine black hair snagged on the stucco. Stucco on the window sill. Why a place is haunted, Gomez? Getting to his feet, her partner shrugged, wobbling a bit. Woo! <laughs> Beats me, because people die there? Good, good work, Gomez. Yeah, said Jones, and they leave a trace. Long as that trace is there, their spirit is trapped or whatever. <laughs> I'm reading this verbatim. Just as it held itself at her, the poltergeist fizzed away into nothing. I mean, I don't believe in ghosts, but I'm always fascinated by the stories. I do enjoy these silly stories. I mean, this one's written like it's a Goosebumps episode, isn't it? Which, if I look at the window, you can see, that's the towers. That must be the North Tower. I can see the window where the ghost was. Some ghosts don't exist. I'm not scared. Fun? It wasn't. <laughs>